Hey, welcome back to the Hightail Podcast, the first episode of 2024. I am a mine. I'm with Canadian Flash. And man, we got a year of Hightail ahead of us. Uh, I was not there for the last episode because I was very, very busy. I was out of state for work, but I'm here now. Crazy. We're ready to talk about Hightail. Mine, I'm excited. Buddy. We've got a good year ahead of us. Listen to this. It's been a whole year since I last talked Hightail with you. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. By the way, a whole year since um, I showered. <laughs> Alrighty, good to know. Um, you said that with a real straight face. So <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. By the way, just want to say, guys, we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers. What are we at? Like eight twenty? Yeah, we're 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 a little over eight hundred subscribers. So if you like the content that we're producing and you want to help us out, let's yes. try to get to a thousand subscribers. It would be amazing if we could reach it sometime yes. soon. I don't think we're gonna hit it by the one year anniversary because it's it's a very slow season for Hightail, but very, very gonna slow. ramp up. And that's exactly what I wanna talk about is the ask Hightail questions. Hell yeah. Uh, if you didn't know, around uh, Christmas time, Budacat, John, Noxie, all of them kind of went together and said, hey, you know what? We're gonna create a, ha a hashtag for you guys. Yes. And on Twitter, you can go right now and do hashtag ask Hightail and ask any sort of high deal question and they're gonna get together Actually, the best Hytale. ones there you go and they're gonna answer at some point they didn't tell us when they're gonna answer so mm -hmm. yeah no they haven't uh, i literally just tweeted at twitter uh or sorry x by the way and it's like hey what's going on you know when are these ask high tail questions starting because that is very very important i would really i kind of want to know not gonna lie yeah he said uh starting early 2024 so he didn't ah. tell us a specific date but it is early 2024 so we can expect it at any time uh my guess is they're gonna start in february mm -hmm. seems realistic enough because they're just coming back from break they're gonna try to figure out how they want to best organize it yeah, and then yeah, yeah. we'll get some ask title questions in february is my guess yeah and you know what that means we're gonna be able to talk about the things that hightail talks about because that's oh my all. god it's gonna be amazing yeah we're, yeah, we're, we're in once again a drought last year we had john's tweets he's been mm -hmm. he's been out they've obviously had uh winter winter break off so yes they, they were able to get some rest but um it's time it's time to crunch again we need this game out you know? it's crunch time guys you know like we want the beta and whatever's going on here let's see has just before we start has there been any job openings in the last month no it's literally been over a month yeah. since the last job opening but there was a new hire though um i think this week yes yeah it i forget was the name a... who are the followers community acquisition no it is a senior uh, qa nope it is a <laughs> talent acquisition see i was somewhere in the in the middle of that. yeah yeah who what's her name it's something with an molly right? shepherd molly bowden. yeah molly shout out molly shepherd bowden welcome to yeah, the high tail welcome team. To the team welcome to the team and she's already tweeting man like she's going she's going nuts um posted on the 10th you know so we love active high tail devs on twitter it's our favorite They're my thing. favorite type of high tail devs <laughs> uh, honestly the best type this is i love yeah. them all but i love the active ones yeah, yeah a we, bit more we love them equally but we don't so we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're gonna get into these ask high tail questions here and i just realized ooh, i made a little mistake with the little background so you guys are gonna do i mean we have your questions i don't think we can get much into the ask high tail questions until we get answers for them even better let's get to viewer questions i'm completely good with that i like yeah viewer questions. so if you don't know the most active high tail community is the high tail podcast discord link is going to be down in the description if you want to join it meet some friends talk about high tail it's mm -hmm. great and you can ask us questions to be answered on the pod and speaking of which um gt asks what about land connectivity between devices can i be able to play on pc and mobile in the same world i don't land? see why not yeah i think that's the whole point of um, cross platform think, or else yeah i don't the know game would have been LAN connectivity is going to be a thing well that's um, just internet because connection, no? Internet. No, LAN is local. Local, Wi-Fi. yeah. So, so that's you can, your internet. You can play, for example, Minecraft has LAN connectivity. Yes. And you don't need internet to be able to play together if you're on the same network. Which is internet, though. If that makes am sense. I, am I tripping? Is that not the same thing? Like your Wi-Fi. E yes and no. What? It, it's your local network. Like you can't join a LAN if you're not on the same network. Like I, you can't open a Minecraft world right now. Click open to la open land world 
I can't join that because I'm not on your network. Does that make sense? Yes. Oh, I thought it was actually like the inside the house's internet connection. I didn't realize yes. it was just, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. But I've been able to play Minecraft with my brother when we didn't have internet, but we're still connected to the same. Oh, I don't know. Huh. It's interesting. What is this network made out of? I don't know. That's kind of confusing. Some, someone is probably smarter than I am. Help me understand that. I think the, the second you're connected to the modem, even though, or the router, even though it's not getting an internet connection, you're connected to that device. And so they can still talk ah, to each other without okay. being connected to the internet itself. That's I how see. I understand it. Okay, I get so it. So they're still talking it. to the other, to each other. They're just not talking to the internet. Yeah, to okay, your okay. ISP. And so that's how they're able to connect the hmm. LAN device. Um, and so the question, I guess, rather instead of will there be LAN in Hytale is going to be like, can you play Hytale offline? Because um, LAN connectivity in a way kind of implies that as well, because you would be able to do that offline. Yeah. Um, they, they, they hinted at the possibility of playing Hytale offline. We'll just have to see, though. They did hint at it. So, we'll, yeah, like you said, we will have to see. And I uh, can't wait for that because yep. I want to play it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And just, just get ready. It's going to be dope. But the way um, GT described it, just playing PC and mobile, that doesn't need LAN connectivity. I assume there's going to be cross-platform. Like, if you're on your phone, you can connect with someone on a PlayStation or on a PC. Which is different to what Minecraft is and what, I guess, Hytale originally yeah. was going to be because there was a... A, a plan of yeah you can go cross platform but then you you know they it wouldn't be very good with um mobile and pc if they released the game already but now we know what they're doing and they are making it seamless i guess you the good way to put it yeah so, so if you okay. only have a phone you will be able to play with your friends on pc that's yeah pretty pretty safe bet i would mm -hmm. say yeah just kind of kind of like among us i guess sort of similar yeah yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, this one you answered on the solo pod. Will you guys film the podcast inside of Hytale once it releases? Uh, I don't remember your answer. I think the major like the main I answer don't was no. Answer. We can do may like events within Hytale, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know how that's gonna work with the podcast because then we're just I don't know, I don't think it I don't yeah, think it like make the, too much the way sense. Like, people are used to seeing our faces. I, I think that kind of just builds a better connection than just, like, uh, two specific Hytale yeah. characters. There's unless no, There's no emotion. Yeah, unless, I mean, there is... Unless we, like, are VR live in Hytale or something, but then that's just, like, yeah. if, you know? I don't think it would make sense. I mean, like you said, if Noxie wants to do an interview, we can do that inside of Hytale. That'd be mm -hmm. kind of cool. But right. I'd also like a face cam. Yeah, I, I like face Noxie cam. Instead. So... Um, I'm team face cam, but we can definitely like play around with doing things inside of high mm -hmm. Voice acting. Will characters like Tessa have voice acting or is it only going to be text? Well, we don't know any voice actors hired at the moment. Yeah, we right? don't know any voice actors hired. We also don't know how the story is going to work, period. Mm -hmm. That too. We have zero clue. Like, will it just be like grunts, sort of like Minecraft with villagers? Yeah. Or... Is it actually going to be like a, they're going to cast a literal voice actor to play Tessa and Kairos and Gaia in Ver Varen would be dope. I mean, but... I would hope there's voice acting because I would not want to read through thousands of text boxes. Yeah, you, you, know, you go up to Tessa fine, and she's just going to be like, <laughs> you know, something, yeah. something dumb like that. Like, you don't want you don't want to do that. That's annoying. Okay. We have the riot budget, I think. Yeah, you know, it's twenty. It's twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five when it comes out. I fixed the background. I would hope. <laughs> I re rendered it live. <laughs> I would nice. hope voice acting is in the game. Yeah, I think I think it's. It be. it just depends. Well, it just depends on how prominent communication with them is. If it's just yeah. like in, talking to an NPC and they're offering a shop, obviously text. But if it's like, you know, twenty paragraphs of story, I want that voice acted. Yeah, uh, I don't like, want to read twenty paragraphs of story, they, and then they, the next cutscene, blah blah blah. They also kind of like don't throws you out of cutscenes yeah. too. 
I also don't think they really have to hire a voice actor. Like, they can just do it themselves. Like, you see in a lot of cartoons... You just hear this... Boudicca. Yeah, I know. That'd be so dope. But, like, you see in a lot of, like, cartoons, the same person or the creator, like, voice acts multiple different characters. Yeah, I think that's a different thing, though. I mean, it is. It is, yeah. But, I mean, if... Just say, for example, if somebody has, like, three or four lines in the whole story, it's like, just, just get a developer to do it. Like get noxy in there you hear like a little irish accent with somebody and you're like oh what's him <laughs> you know that'd be cool that would be funny would clops have an irish accent that's that's the real question kairos is lethal lethal operating personnel yeah i think we'll they figure that out maybe they're irish <laughs> you never know they look like they're irish they, they do don't they they kind of they just look irish i don't know it's like yeah about them. yeah we got an interesting question it's not a question well it is it's a trivia question for us Vid uh, asks, where does this Hytale picture come from? Explain what the dots are and other details you may know of it. Mine well, I gotta find this. The podcast. I'm, I'm gonna to send it in this. your DMs and you can pull it up yeah, on yeah. the video. If you're listening Alrighty. to the audio, which I need to put the audio for the last one on Spotify as well. Oh, this is from a blog post. Yeah, um, this is from the blog post. To yeah. my knowledge, it's um, biome generation, correct? Something, something complicated like that. Let's find it. I think it's something about... No, because we're, we're supposed to guess what it is. We're not supposed to find it in the blog. Oh. Yeah, we're supposed to explain the dots and any other detail you might know of. It. It's a trivia question. To me, it looks like cells of dividing biomes or something dumb like that. Yeah, but, I think it's uh, biome divisions with... Uh, I don't know what the dots are for. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you, but it's... Where's the, my blog? the center point of a biome, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I have no clue, but okay, it, it, it's kind of fancy. Answer. Yeah, I revealed the oh, answer. Oh, he wrote the answer. This is an example of Voronoi no noise, which is a noise pattern in generation that creates cell-like patterns. The purple dots are where a large prefab with a lot of significance to the story could be encountered. The percentage chance with Did say that? a lar which a large prefab can spawn is 20%. So that is 20% of the dots are large prefabs. If they wish they could increase the frequency and also decrease the pre frequency, which a large prefab will spawn. We were that was in the wrong. blog? Well, we were kind of close with the cells, not going to lie. Um, yeah. You know, science isn't my best subject, so, you know, you can give us a pass on that I one. thought it was biomes. Turns out it's Prefabs. structure generation. Okay. I'm going to try and find this, just because peace of mind um i mean I, I assume it's in the world generation blog post so yeah, i'm looking for it <laughs> should be helpful uh where is this um while you find it i can go on the next question because i think yeah. it, it's pretty easy to answer hightail playable platforms since the devs are uh, planned on releasing hightail on every single platform pc mobile xbox etc i wanted to ask if it'll be playable on imac found can it you... oh there it is i found it yeah yeah no he just took it word for word from the the blog can you play Riot games on, like, League of Legends on a Mac? I said probably. Um, 2017 later, yes. Can you play Valorant? I know you can't play Valorant on a Mac. Well, because Macs suck. Just don't buy a Mac. Yeah, you, like, can't, I'm just you saying. can't play Valorant on it. Huh, um, interesting. It just depends on what their compatibility is, because they need to program it specifically for Mac. Mm -hmm. Um... I feel like they, they a will. Very closed off system. It'll be interesting because, I mean, the only question is performance, and my guess it would be, it would, um, if you can play it on a Mac, they would only let you play on the uh, Apple Silicon. So that's M1, two, and I think there's M3 as well now. Oh, those um, like the processors of, or something that they have. Or? Yeah, those are the processors and oh, okay. integrated graphics. They kind of do that together. Um, it will be interesting. I mean, I'd like to be able to play Hytale on my laptop whenever oh, I'm. Do you out have an iMac or house. whatever? Uh, yeah, I have a MacBook. Mac Blast was called. Yeah. Yeah. I got so, a little Acer laptop, so I think we'll be chilling. Worst comes to worst, I can always play on my phone, which is exciting about the cross-platform. But if I can play yeah, it on my laptop, we'll just have a bunch um, of Let's Plays on the phone, on the PC, on the you know, yeah, everywhere. You oh my god, you should do like you know how you're doing tutorials. Do like mobile tutorials because those will get probably the most views, honestly. Um, yeah, because more people are gonna be playing high tone on their phone than they are on a computer. Like how to beat Varen on an iPhone and use iPhone. Is, I don't know if I want to play high tail on a phone. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you're like you got to be the tutorial it guy. Miserable, fair. It does fair. sound miserable. I would never do that. But I mean, 
maybe maybe we will start doing that if it gets views <laughs> <laughs> you know new quebecs what do you think of the new quebec oh i read announced... that question i did read that one in the the video it's so, supposed to be quebec but yeah, he spelled they do it as know quebec that quebec is the city it's a it's a um, province in canada yes <laughs> Yes. I love the I love the Quebec. I love the Quebec too, and I also Quebec's alright. Yeah, I was about to say I don't know if Quebec is that cool. <laughs> Quebec's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It, it wanted to be its own country at one point. You know, it's Quebec stuff like that. Or is the, Canada, the Can yeah. French Canadian slander? I'll always accept. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, I'm not one of them. So. <laughs> Ooh, I I I saw this question for like. A month now and i've been looking forward to it hell yeah one nikki asks what do you guys think the capital will be like one mm -hmm. it being kind of like the main lobby from where you can choose from all the servers adventure and creative mode kind of like splatoon if you know what i mean another thing i thought about is them creating is them having you create your character as well as buy cosmetic pets from shops completing challenges and finding secrets in all the capital two a place where people can meet while still having a quick select for servers without having to join the capital. Three, Hytale throwing you right into the capital after starting the game with no real selection menu, even though we've already seen the UI for server select. The whole thing being revamped, basically. Or four, something completely different. This is a long question. I feel I'm like the honest, capital... I think, I think this is a very well thought out question because I can see oh, all of those being correct. I can see them all being correct. Yeah, I was about to say that. I don't think right when you load up Hytale, you're every single time you'll be in the capital. Like, yeah, it might I don't be think like a tutorial. Like you, you load it's... in and you're immediately in. Yeah, like I, I mean, it's possible. And then you choose the three doors, which would make sense. Yeah, and like, like you are the go three to doors. Orbis from the capital. Yeah. Um, I don't my, know. My issue with the idea of the capital is time. I don't want to have to walk to a game mode every single time. I want to just be able to have from like the main menu that we originally saw. Hit me up with the click GUI. Click play yeah. and then click a mode. Click multiplayer and click a server. Click mm -hmm. options or whatever or click orbits, you know? I don't want to have to walk across the capital to be able to get to the game mode I want. And so right. that's where the idea of the quick select is a thing. But I want, I don't know, I like having a main menu and not... So I don't think it's going to be a re like replacement of a main menu. I think that's, I don't know. The, the capital is confusing. Yeah, it's very confusing. I can see, like you said, both ways. Like one, it could just be where you log into, but then two, it's literally a main menu. And then the capital is an option. For example, like adventure, capital, whatever else, creative. I don't really know. But I, for some reason, I just feel like capital, in my opinion, is more just in towards the multiplayer, like, yeah i server. agree um that's what i see it as but if you want to interpret it something differently go ahead please in the comment section down below let us know what you think but just from the the one uh concept art we got of it that's kind of what i see it yeah i see it as like the the high pixel lobby mm -hmm. yeah and nothing really more they like introducing things and being very vague about them and not explaining like they yeah. introduced the three doors and it was kind of vague and no one had an idea of what it really meant and then they never talked about it again um they said they're going to talk about the capital more because it's obviously now a big part of the game but Next they also post. just they also just like dropped it said hey um we're making this thing that's very vague and makes you kind of question everything about it and we're not going to explain more about it yeah in, i wouldn't be in, surprised though in if um like the capital is like just a regular high pixel server and instead of just searching in um, what's the high pixel ip like hypixel.net instead of searching yeah. that in your search for a server you literally can just click the capital and you're already on high pixel so everybody has it and then every other server will be able to be searched for in the little search bar for a server which i think that that could be cool just saves people from you know searching for it and once again that'll give them the most players as well if that's an issue if that's the the case so yeah i mean one fear i definitely have is like do they even know what the capital is because they, they so. could very well have like gotten a good concept have it everything on a whiteboard uh -huh. um and maybe built out like 
a general concept for the capital and we're like okay you know what we need to tell them something this is what we're currently you know thinking about mm -hmm. let's tell them this but they don't necessarily know what the capital is either because all of the answers regarding like our questions have been very vague too and so it makes me question like why not just say it because that's not necessarily yeah. a spoiler thing you know no, it's not a spoiler. Uh, maybe they're trying to get the podcast to like give them ideas for the capital. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, if they want to listen to us, they can, obviously. But I don't know. I think they have an idea. I think it's just kind of, maybe, I think so maybe too, it's new. I think maybe there's it's definitely new. a possibility where they also are still uh, in the trials and tribulations phase of, you know, does this work? What? How are we going to integrate this in the game? Mm -hmm, for sure. Phase, but they know they want it yeah interesting yeah very interesting so i I'd, like... i want them to in the future just give us more concrete stuff i i'm not a fan of i mean when they dropped Guessing. the three doors no one had an idea what that meant that was like revolutionary do we, do we brand still new. know what the no, doors like, mean where, where, no where we're do, not really where do you get them where, where can you find these doors you know they're very important the, well the doors are. aren't physical they're like a a metaphor of yeah like, it's item. just like ah <laughs> you know like everything is one but everything is also separate i don't know the doors still don't make sense to me mm -hmm. no i'm just very confused do you guys think there will be in-game cutscenes or pre-rendered ones from one nikki that kind of like, goes example, off the voice acting first fighting a quebec village the camera flies into the village showing you the main objectives and quebec's waving at you to welcome you Mm -hmm. or a bo before a boss battle the boss becoming conscious of you etc that'd be dope that'd a be boss sick. would be really sick yeah and it says something very basic and bossy yeah right before the fight that would be really cool so um bosses i think would make sense for the quivic village i don't know how much that makes sense because everything's randomly generated and so mine you know the in camera paths just doesn't work um uh, where was it you know in that riot showcase there was like a small clip of duke i can't remember if that yeah of the camera flying in but that you also it looks like a cutscene, but it could it just be does, like an introduction to a boss the entire trailer kind of looked like a cutscene. yeah that too as well um, it looked like it was just a movie tool yeah but I, you never I know it that. could be a cutscene where you enter the door and then it's like blah 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 but i feel like i think my problem with cutscenes is they bring you out of immersion I think if cutscenes happen, they have to be story, story uh, related. It can't Absolutely. just be you enter a boss room, cutscene. Yeah, I don't think well, that a lot it. of ga a lot of games do do that. Yeah, but, but... this is an open world sandbox. Is is my yes. issue. So if yeah. you're in the story mode and there's like a story thing that can activate it, like you're you're talking to someone and then boom, cutscene. Um, it doesn't throw you out of immersion. But if you are literally just like trying to grind dungeons and every single. I don't know. Every single time you have a boom, bus, and yeah. zooms in on him. I think it'd be really cool though if they did. Did you watch live action One Piece? Yes. So you know how they introduced a character like Arlong or Mihawk, and then you know the bounty flashed up on the screen, and then they like yeah did something with the paper, cool and then they cut through the paper. I think something like that could be cool. They do that zoom in, for example, into Duke, and then they just put his name on the um, on the screen so you know who it is, and that's it. Maybe a small know, description. I don't even know about zoom ins. I think the idea of altering the camera angle would kind of like ruin a little know, bit kinda, of the gameplay. I kind of like it. I think that would okay. be kind of fun. I think it would be fun, but not I think over. I'm just not a overdone. Hard time visualizing is my issue right now. Yeah. Um. And so the whatever you're visualizing probably looks uh, really sick. So I'm trying to find the video. I definitely right. agree with like some text with a title popping up. Uh huh would be um a like, good I, I just to introduce I, them i really liked the way that one piece live action did it i thought it was great didn't break immersion it's literally just boom guy bounty slice it away there you go that yeah. was really cool but it, it's also just going to depend on like what kind of bosses are going to be i think only yes. story bosses should do that i don't think uh randomly generated dungeon bosses should do that like if the duke is in a bunch of different bosses and there's multiple dukes don't give him a cutscene. yeah it, it i think annoying only the first like a one time. time like varen give him a cut yeah unless you give him only the first time you fight duke or the first time you fight yeah. the yeti but then yeah that could like, also work like the first it time would get repetitive it. yeah it certainly would get repetitive 
Uh, I'm just looking through this video right now while we're talking here. I'm trying to find that Duke part. Because I know it was in this, but we will. I'll find it. Would it be appropriate uh, to term Orbis as a Hightail mod? From Milas. Oh, I, got, I did that question last time. I was like, what? No. Several times, including... It's literally the game. Um, How is it I'm a mod? Sc skim through that. Mm, yeah, it's not a mod. Yeah. Orbis is the world of Hightail. And then mm -hmm. the mods are how you alter Orbis. Yeah, so also going back to the Duke thing, I just looked at the video and it literally... First, it showed like a far away shot and then it didn't zoom in. It just kind of like put a camera right in front Flew of his through. face. Yeah, and he just did like a little scream. So like there is space there to put a little bit of text actually. So that could be kind of maybe what they're doing. But yeah, because like a player wouldn't be taking that shot. That's way too close. So that is like a cinematic E shot. That'd be cool. But yeah, let's go back to the Orbis is a mod question. I said no. Yeah, I'm it's like, not. it's the game. Yeah, I thought that was yeah, a I don't weird think that, question. I don't think that makes sense. Yeah, I just thought it was a weird um, question. They're creating Orbis with the same tools and flexibility that the entire community will have access to? I think I disagree as well. Mm -hmm. You're, we're not going to have access to everything they're having access to, or else no, there's we no can way. just create the game ourselves. Yeah, we'll just create our own The modding tools will Hightail. definitely be limited. Um, we'll have a lot of flexibility with it, but... Yeah, like, you could basically do whatever you want, except probably... Like, make... we don't have the source co code for Hightail. No, and I don't think we'll also have the engine that they like out straight from scratch right like they're not going to give us their custom engine to make yeah a we'll game be able to of. alter the engine that's yeah the it's just not going to give us it plain sailing say here go ahead <laughs> make your own game with that we cost millions of dollars trying to make there you go i mean we will be able to create our own games oh for sure but like you can't just take the engine and just start a brand new project i, I don't know how to describe it but I don't know. I feel like you could. Yeah. I Maybe. Think that's that's a wrong path. Mm, maybe. We got an easy question coming up right now. Vid asks, do you think we'll get an in-game postcard for Valentine's Day? Hit me loud. I don't think we... No. The answer is no. Unless they're they, ready to showcase images of the new... Unless they've shown us the engine before that, which would mean uh -huh. we, we, uh, we need within the next month right now. We Good need luck. In -game <laughs> Good design. luck. We haven't even got the Ask Hightail questions yet, so. Yeah, they're doing That's... the Ask Hightail first, and then they're going to show off the engine probably around the middle of the year. Yeah. So June, July, I think we're going to, I think is um, a reasonable date where they mm -hmm. can show off the engine. Yeah, And show I us everything so well. they've done. They've been quiet recently, so that means they're hard at work, so get ready. But they, they would not show off just a screenshot, like a postcard. Be like, yeah, um, I know Buda, they used Buda to. has confirmed that. They did used to on the old engine, but it's just yeah, I know. Engine. But like he said specifically for showing us the new yes. engine, and that is not, a that is a guarantee now. So yeah. Buddha confirmed. Unfortunately, I mean maybe they'll do a concept art like they've been doing the past couple of times, but that's the only way I think we'll get something. How big will the Hightail download be from Milas? I have no idea. How big is the Minecraft download? A couple games. Minecraft's a different game. I don't think it's even comparable. Yeah, like, how, how can you even... I don't know. I have no um, clue. I think 35, 45 would be my, uh, my Yeah, bet. I'm thinking, like, around 60. Like, I have no idea. I think it'll be a... Like, how optimized? I, I, I don't even know. Like, I'm not a developer. I can't... I take back the 45. I think it's going to be... I'm thinking, like, a 60. 25, 35. Oh, wow. You're thinking that small. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, think I don't know be that huge. What's the biggest thing in those like cutscenes kind of that take up a lot of gigabyte like I, I, in games? I I could not tell wrong you. Wrong person to ask. Yeah, that. bro. I don't know what takes up all the thing. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I like think, I'm just I trying think to think of like. I'm just trying to think of That's like AAA guess. games. Like how much is like COD? Because I know the MLB the show games. Bro, and... bro, no, no, no. You cannot compare that to. You can't Call compare that. I think that's no. not like 112 gigabytes. Oh, is it that big? Holy cow! I'm thinking of like the sports games, which are around like 60. Yeah, sports. Oh uh, no, take it back. Um, Modern Warfare 3 is 172 on PC and 240 on PlayStation. Never mind. My bad. I did not think they were that. I would take. Oh my god. Yeah, it's 240 gigabytes on PlayStation. Dear god. How big are these games? Yeah, how big is FIFA? Yeah, check FIFA. FIFA's probably huge. 
I think it's 60, right? That would around be my there. guess. Most sports games are in and around the same because they all do pretty much the same uh, thing. 50. Yeah, like I know the F1 games probably, I think it's around like 30 or 40 gigabytes. And then yeah, you, FIFA, so, FIFA yeah. is 50 gigabytes. Kind of interesting. How much, so what would Roblox be? Roblox is probably... Roblox is a few megabytes because you're just downloading the things to run the game and then each uh, game is different. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I never played it. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, my guess is around 30. Yeah. And yours is around, what, 60? I said like 60, but yeah. I have no idea. Like, how are we supposed to know? I don't. I think that's an impossible question because we don't even know the scale of Hytale. They've shown us so little. Mm-hmm. All right, I think we have one more question. All right. Mila's once again, size of the main island. That's if a great question. If we count question. one block as one meter, how many meters or kilometers do you think the Oof. main island will be shore to shore? Assuming the main island is relatively circular. Let's go off that concept art that we saw in the most um, recent. <laughs> Uh, most How recent blocks, blocks do you think Orbis is? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> um, I'm we just are gonna getting send put you the to, the, to our limits. Uh, yeah. With this um, here, let's 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 go off this uh, concept art here, the one they put in the most recent um, blog, just so it's something to scale by. But, <laughs> dude. <laughs> um. I want it to be massive, but will it be massive? Like, uh, every- well, also, isn't everybody's game gonna be different? Yeah. So- I think- I think general size of Orbis, though. <laughs> like, north, south, east, west, I guess. Yeah. Um, and then, this is by kilometer, so just say 15, like- I was uh, thinking 15, 16 as well. Wait, no, I wasn't 16,000 by 16. Well. But then that'll be a block. Like one meter. No, no. Kilometer. Okay, that's well, a lot of not, blocks. That's a lot of blocks. Meter, let's not do kilometers. Let's just do how many blocks by how many blocks. I, I so, think. How, is 10 million? Is that a lot of blocks? 10 million? Yes. Okay. We're talking about just one line from one edge yeah. to the other edge. Okay, that has to be a lot. Yeah. So we Have think you we ever know. tried to walk 10 million in Minecraft? No, who the heck has done that? I think Orbis could be I've gone, 8K. I've gone a couple hundred thousand. I was thinking like 50k by 50k probably. You've gone hundreds of thousands of I don't believe you. I have, yeah. Have you ever you've never you've clearly never played factions before where everything is uh found. Fair um enough. I think 8k by 8k. I was thinking like 50k by 50k. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's set our bets right now. We'll end the que we'll end the <laughs> podcast with a question for you guys. Please comment down below. I yeah. need everyone who's still watching this to tell me how large do you think Orbis is? Do you think it's going to be Well, Orbis uh, could be huge, the main blocks island. By 200 blocks. Do you think it's going to be 8000 like my guess? Do you think it's going to be 50000? I think it's gonna be a hundred thousand or ten million. Let no, I don't, I don't imagine I'm, ten million. That'd be crazy. Well, I'm far very lands. curious about far what lands. the general consensus of yeah. Orbis yes, is because yes. we gotta get to bro. You gotta get to the ocean at some point. Yeah, yeah. You just run fifty k blocks, get to the ocean. It's nothing crazy. You know, maybe, maybe we'll scale it down to twenty five. Twenty five. Okay. You set your guess at fifty. We'll see what the comments. Yeah, say. we'll see what they say. We'll see what they say. I like big maps, so we'll see what happens here. <laughs> Maybe Thank I'm you guys completely... so much for yeah. watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so that we can continue producing content for you guys. See you guys in the next one, hopefully with some Ask Hytale questions very soon. Peace mm -hmm. out.